Well, many tonight are mourning the death of an NYPD detective who spent more than three decades in a vegetative state. Detective Troy Patterson was off duty washing his car in Brooklyn when three men tried to rob him. During the confrontation, he was shot in the head. Detective Patterson died yesterday, and today his fellow officers, his family, and his friends are saying their final farewell. Eyewitness News reporter Safan Kim is live in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, and he just spoke with the officer's family. Safan. Well, Liz and David, a sea of blue for Detective Troy Patterson. His body arrived here just seconds before we came on the air. He's getting a dignified transfer to the Erskine family home, funeral home here in Bedside, Brooklyn, after he succumbed to his injuries over the weekend. He was shot in his head 33 years ago in a botched robbery attempt. His family is still hurting. He reacted on our voice, even my grandmother's voice. And um, he knew that we was there. Troy Patterson Jr. says his father was in a vegetative state, a limited ability to communicate, but he was able to react to his family's voices. Sometimes he smiled, chuckled, or even laughed. Always knew they were there. His son was five years old when it happened. That was tough. Uh, you know, five years old, little kid, baby. You know, seeing your dad laid up, you know, in the hospital with tubes, stomach, nose, you know, everywhere, mouth. It was tough, but. You know, with the family that I got in NYPD, um, you know, we got through it. Troy Patterson Jr. still remembers his father taking him to dinners or to the toy store in his Nissan Maxima. As the years passed, he would tell his father about growing up, about his daughters. His youngest daughter would sit on his father's lap and whisper into his ear, Granddad, you're my hero. That's tough. Yeah. You know, just wanted him to have a relationship with my daughters. I mean, any son would want that. It was 1990 when Detective Patterson was washing his car near his home in Brooklyn and then shot over $20. He had taken countless guns off the streets, preventing countless senseless crimes. But he could not prevent the one that took the life he imagined, one where he could hold the son. One of the suspects convicted in his shooting was released in 2000. The president of the Detectives Endowment Association visited Detective Patterson several times. He was confined to a wheelchair and confined to a bed and, uh, you know, uh, he was never paroled from his wheelchair. Uh, he was confined for 33 years uh, due to the acts of these individuals. Now, meanwhile, Detective Patterson's death is still being determined. The Brooklyn DA says this case is now under review.